And I can tell you, without a question, that bad people want to do bad things to our food. Special FBI agent Eric Negron says our food chain is under attack. Negron is part of a special task force that is responsible for emerging threats. That includes agroterrorism. Terrorist acts intended to disrupt or damage a country's agriculture, especially with the use of biological chemical. This isn't talking about IDs and rifles and explosives. This isn't the normal fighter in sandals with an AK-47. This is someone that was educated in the West. Negron, along with Homeland Security and the Cumberland County prosecutor, discussed the dangers of agroterrorism at Cumberland County College. Agroterrorism is important for Cumberland County because we are a very rural county and we have a lot of farms as well as coal packing sites. And because agriculture is one of the easiest sectors of the U.S. economy to disrupt, the Cumberland County prosecutor says a terrorist can introduce devastating disease with little to no risk of getting caught. Agroterrorism could affect a larger population more quickly than, um, let's say, a bomb attack or a single shooter. Because in our country we're lucky to have such efficient transportation and um, production distribution networks, it, it could affect more people in a shorter amount of time before we know that there's a, a threat. The FBI in the last year and a half has prosecuted five individuals that have walked up to supermarket food buffets and have sprayed some sort of something onto the food. We are also closely looking at two things, the delivery of bio or chem weapons using a drone system. And Negron says the dangers aren't limited to just farmers. Homeland Security says they're now closely watching potential threats occurring around election time after a cult that was not happy with the makeup of a town in Oregon sprayed a salad bar with a chemical. And I believe it was like 50% of the townsfolk got sick and that really impacted the election results and it all got traced back to this salad bar. Law enforcement says they plan to hold more workshops on agroterrorism prevention, but stresses that the state and country as a whole needs to step up surveillance and awareness when it comes to threats involving the food chain. In Violand, Raven Santana, NJTV News.